and that O-ring that everyone seems to ignore is, uh, that's it right there. See that move? It's a, it's a casting, and they line board that evidently down in there in line with the front of her, but that's what we're going to replace right there. That old ring, that old ring's been in there since 1923. You know what I mean? Okay, see, see, I'm working it around through there. That's what we're getting out of there. Okay, I got a little.
Oh yeah. There's that little piece of rubber that was in there, see? The little gap. But 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 I don't I have no reason to believe that this gasket was leaking. I just think it's been in there from day one. So, you know, what what while I'm while I'm uh yeah, if you're going to put rings in it. But, uh, the reason for, for, for this video right here, it's kind of, this is a turning, turning point of this engine. I'll show you why. Well, you know, with that old ring out of there, uh, we've, we've reached the point of, I'll show you something. Y'all see what's about to happen? Oh, that was loose. Uh, usually those dowel pins are pretty tight. And this one last bolt. And you always remember to put that back in there before you put the cylinder sleeve back in there. But, if you will observe... And I do have, I do have both alignment pins on the other side already out. So what we're looking at right here is one piece. There is no attachments at all on this. One piece. It, you know, with a... Yeah, we'll get the whole thing cleaned up. Yeah, you know, normally, normally I don't paint the inside of the water hopper. You know, I, I have, if the, if the urge was, I would put a primer on there, nothing more. And without further ado, let's start reassembling it's old, 1923, McCormick Deering, Bosch equipped, type M, one and one half horsepower. Let's put it back together. 